get it one be legendary yeah now i've been waiting for this one for a while and it's finally arrived so we're going to do the unboxing and first impression of his new dell precision 5550 now this is a 15 inch mobile workstation it is also light and thin as well so it takes a lot of boxes there now as of last year i really enjoy the 5540 and it was probably one of my favorite laptops of last year and i'm hoping this year it will be the exact same here the 5550 now i will be creating a follow-up video of this 5550 once i've spent some time and done my tests we'll go look into the screen more in depth we'll also do try and open it up see the internals as well and we'll of course we'll run the temperature testers and also sound testers as well too so be sure to check that video out i'll put a link in the description below when that is available so be sure to check that one out there so let's get on with the unboxing and let's get on so i need my trusty knife which is great i've got that and let's go and try and open this up Whoa. Oh, God. get these things yeah i'll probably need that one there and of course we do the two slits that we love to do now I must say a thank you to Dell for providing this for us. This is one of those ones I really, really like. I wish I actually own one of these myself. Uh, but oh. now this is actually a lot also if you haven't noticed, it's also a lot thicker in box compared to the latitude series and the other series there. So I do love these positions. Alright, what have we got here? Let's have a look. Okay, there's a box inside of the box. <laughs> and that's a big heavy box too. Whoa, and that's all there is in that one there. But that's a heavy box. Wow, okay. I think Mike's just gonna help this thing out. I'm gonna bring in one of my little support stands here so you guys can see this. Oh, and I'm trying to bring this thing. Wow, this is beautiful. I can just see this already. So we've got some sort of film over this thing here. Whoa. Don't know why we've got this film here, but that's nice to protect the box. Now, like I said, this is quite a thick box here. Um, it's not a slim slime box where normally it's about that thick. This is like probably about double the size and thickness. So that's interesting here. All right, let's have this one a go here. Now, that's magnetic. Oh, wow, Ooh, is that magnetic? I'm loving this case already. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Let's open it up. Wow, here we go. Look at that. You get this nice little, and right there, it just says position. It's just beautiful. I love this nice little case here. Beautiful. And of course, we've got a nice little clear tab here just to bring up the laptop. Let's pull that out. Oh, now these laptops, even though they're not like considered like light light lightweight or a lot of other people still it is 1.8 kilos but for the amount of power this thing is 1.8 kilos is really light so i'm going to put set this one to the side right here and i'll come back to them later and see what else is in here as well too so we've got some got another little slot here okay that's got a lot of room for covering now it covers a few things here so the power cable here this is a three prong one part of the power cable here interesting and there's another part here which i'm going to pull out now this is an adapter now this adapter is uh i'm just gonna open this up yeah it is tied up so i'm just gonna try let's get rid of all these things okay this is it's like the da da 200 uh it's like a mini version of the da 200 here so it's a usb c adapter dongle for and it changes to uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1 and then we've got uh, a HMI port as well so that's a dongle there which I have a, have a big feeling that they've included something like this they've lost some ports on here but we'll have a look all right sorry about the microphone all right so let's bring this one here okay let's have a look what's in here we've got some documentation here i'm not i'm normally going to throw this away but i'm going to have to read that a little bit later so i'm going to set it aside now that's something different here. all right and then we've got the big power brick here not what's that big it's actually quite tiny actually for the power brick uh, i'm just going to set this one aside here let's move that across okay now we've got a power brick here now this is a 130 watt power adapter here and it's actually quite small um, it, I think it's actually gone smaller than the previous year there, which is quite nice. And I'm just going to look at the end of this um, adapter here. 
what do we use it come out to? Now, that's changed. They used to have a very small barrel style uh, adapt power connector there port, but now that's a USB-C port. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have a look right now and soon, very soon, now I'm tempted to look at it, but I won't. Uh, I'm gonna see what else is in the box anyway, but uh, I'm gonna be the first thing I'm gonna look for, but I'll just see if there's anything else, because this is quite a large box. Uh, and that's just plastic, I think that's about it. Is that it, about it? Yeah, let me have a look. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Uh, I actually want to actually... Nope, that's better. And actually, before I continue on, I just saw something interesting here. Now, there's a... Down here, it does... Sorry, I'm going to talk about the box here anyway. Uh, it's got some whales there, and it says 100% recycled plastics, 25% from ocean-bound resource uh, sources. Uh, that's nice to see that actually now being very responsible for what they're trying to do here. Fantastic to see they're actually advertising that too as well. So uh, I used to remember they actually had a nice little foamy bit and that was quite nice and I used to would use it for jewelry or something like that, but this is different here. But that's a nice box here for sure. That's really nice and magnetic. I would probably reuse that for something as well So Fantastic, beautiful. And I'm just going to set that to a side. And actually, actually, I'll leave this here. That's nice. All right, let's go, move this to the side and get to the main event here, right here. Sorry, I'm gonna play from my microphone again because it keeps dropping. All right, the main event, let's have a look at this main event here. So I'm going to take off these. Okay, plastic. Okay, it's got that nice metallic feel to it, just like the previous model there. So that's nice to see. And wow, the I definitely see the sides are beautiful. Wow, it's very nice, beautiful brush and aluminium, even on the sides as well. That's an improvement. I re remember the 5540. Now that was more of like a, a matte sort of black plastic sort of feel to the sides, but this is completely brush aluminium. That is really nice. It looks so premium there. Um, I really like that. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna, before I go look at the ports, um, and I remember back in the 5540, there was actually a little lever here to actually get to the service tag, but now they don't. So where is the service tag? I will have to look for in a moment. Oh no, it's just now service tag is actually located on the bottom left hand corner and it's just engraved into it and it's actually very which is actually good i like it when it's engraved because i've had times where you've had this rubbing across and then you won't be able to see what's printed as a service tag so this is engraved into it but it's very small i've got to say it's very hard for a lot of clients if you have to ask them what the service tag is uh, to look on the back it's extremely hard so it'll be nice if they made it bigger maybe put it down here near the middle would be fantastic but it's actually really small you gotta really squint your eyes anyway um i don't know i'm just going through some of the medical things but this is actually as a commercial support for these that's actually one of the big things i would probably have to try and tell them to improve on make that a little bit easier bit to see for customers anyway and as traditional yep all the Screws are the star base, so you do need a special screwdriver for, to open one of these up, and I'll do that in the follow-up video. And right, let's have a look at the ports on the computer. Starting on the left-hand side of the computer, we've got two USB-C ports. They are Thunderbolt-enabled ports, and then we've also got the Noble Wedge Lock slot here to tie the computer up. Now, there used to be a HDMI port here. That's no longer the case. That's all gone now. I don't see they can physically fit that in anymore because they have made this a lot more thinner now. And so I think we guess we're at an age where we do need to carry our dongles to do presentations to, um, to spit out to projectors and external monitors there. So at least the good thing is Dell has included that little dongle in for free with this computer here. So we're going to, and also of course we don't have the AC barrel port for charging the computer because you, you actually use the Thunderbolt ports to actually charge the computer. So using any of these two is fine. And we are, look around to the back, it is all clear of any ports there. And looking to the right hand side of the computer, we have the audio combo jack here. 
and then we also have our SD card reader now that's a good standard size there so that's fantastic to see and then we also got another USB-C which is a Thunderbolt Nano port and again you can actually charge a laptop using this port as well and that's pretty much all there is they did used to have a little button for a battery indicator that's no longer there I guess they again couldn't probably put it in anymore because out of our real estate I don't mind having a SD card reader there instead of that it's actually more useful but it would have been nice if that included but I guess uh, more functional <laughs> having SD card reader than actually a battery indicator in a way so it does look more cleaner without it and of course running to the front there is actually no ports at the front there now as always I'm gonna do the finger test to see how this goes and opens so let's go okay I've gone the right way yeah I do uh, hey, how hard is this actually it's not too hard once you got lever it oh that's quite nice feel to it. That's definitely a nice feel to that. Well, I'll just do that one more time. And I'm actually straight away, I'm very surprised by what I see underneath already. Uh, yeah, this stays flat all the way and that's actually really as far as it goes. Um, it won't go any further to 180 degrees. So what would you would call this one here? 130 degrees is what as far as it can go. Um, it will be nice if it can go further, but 100. 30 degrees is still decent in a way, so that's definitely nice. Now, wow, there's a few things I definitely see of this one here. All right, I'm gonna bring this up here. Okay, first off, big difference. That trackpad is massive, huge. That's huge. I don't think even the MacBook have a bigger trackpad than that. That is huge. That's, I think a MacBook trackpad is probably about that sort of size. That's like a good fifth bigger. Wow, it's huge. And again, beautiful finish. I love the finish of this um, trackpad. That's beautiful feel to it for sure. Okay, the second thing I can really see is the speakers. They're forward facing now. Uh, and that's, I'm hoping the speakers sound really good. I'm excited by this. Uh, they're, oh, it's overall, okay, this is actually a carbon fiber finish, just like the previous model, but this, feels nice and they've got the nice broth sort of aluminium feel to the um, speakers as well but it's actually not aluminium that's actually a bit of a rubber but just feels as if it's part of the aluminium part as well too but oh beautiful I love the finish of it as for the keyboard now that's changed as well too the keyboard are the keys are a little bit more spacing between the keys are a bit more narrow as well too I've, I've noticed that and the actual keys itself uh, they're actually, I think the trouble, the key trouble is not as much as the previous was. I think they've actually made less key trouble onto it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like the, the new keyboard. I'll find out. You know, I have to play with it a little bit longer because I've played with the, the Latitude, the new 7, the 7 series. Um, that was really nice. I love what they did with the new keyboard and that one there. And this one here is, it actually does feel pretty cream actually. <laughs> I just have a good type of it. Uh, as a programmer, I'm not a programmer in any sort of fashion, uh, but I think you can probably type in this quite nicely. And especially having the keys much more sort of spacing a lot narrower, um, I think you have to do less traveling around with your, your fingers. So that's beautiful there. Uh, the other thing I can straight away see as well, and I think they're starting to do this a lot in the 2020 editions here, is the fingerprint reader is now located in, again in the power button, but it's actually now part of the keyboard it used, usually used to be uh, out somewhere else for the fingerprint reader but it's now part of the keyboard here so that's definitely nice to see and i've just turned it on now i do know the screen can be either full hd or uh, 4k and they are 500 nits is what i saw so that's pretty bright and i'm thinking that's really nice um, there especially when you're out and about in the field there so definitely not bad at all i'm really liking this a lot oh i think this is definitely going to be a winner here now i haven't actually seen the new xps's uh, out yet uh, because unfortunately here in australia they they always got stock of it so uh, even to get this precision was actually quite amazing so um now i can just going to try and look for where the exhaust is so the exhaust is okay it is sitting underneath the display screen and covered by the thing but oh man beautiful finish i love it um anyway sorry i'm loving the actual finish of this beautiful brush aluminium here even the max don't have this nice beautiful finish finish to it i love this feel to it uh is right along the back end here uh, underneath the 
the hinge system here and I can see the lot of breathe holes around living around here there. Now I'm probably not sure this is speakers facing downwards as well too. So they've improved a lot of them speaker wise, definitely nice for sure. Um, and oh wow the screen is the bezel on it is extremely extremely narrow for sure and even I'm not even talking about the top part here the, the bezel on the top usually they put it quite a lot thick because of the webcam but this is very thin for the webcam here now I don't wonder if they've actually got a privacy shutter on these uh, ones at all anymore but I think it's just IR now uh, but I don't see any privacy shutter which is it'd be nice to have some uh, but I do know the IR for more of the Windows Hello, but I don't really have that anyway. So it's not a big surprise, not a break killer for me. Um, but it's definitely having a much beautiful wide screen and just more real estate is probably, I can forgive them for that, making no privacy shutter for the webcam at all. So beautiful. I'm really loving it now. This is the new Precision 5550 is running the new 10 generation Intel cores. So I know you can get anywhere between the i5s, uh, which are, I think they are four cores there. You've got i7s, which run six to eight cores. And you've got i9, which of course run eight cores. And you've got the Xeons option as well, which runs six cores as well too. As for memory wise, for the um, RAM, you're looking at anywhere between eight to 64 gigs. And of course, up to 32 gigs for ECC um, RAM there. Now, as for hard drive wise, it has, I know it has two slots for M.2 format uh, SSD hard drives, and they can go up to two terabytes each in a way, so it's kind of nice you can bang into those. But we'll look at that when we do the internals of this computer here. But so far, beautiful, loving it. Uh, I really love this computer a lot. I really want one as well myself. Now, this also houses, I know this particular one I've got here, houses a Navita Quadro T1000 uh, graphics chip in there. You can get the Navita Quadro T2000 as well. Uh, and so that's really more for the professional, you know, CADs and other big applications that would run these sort of things. Now, I know some people actually do ask me, why would I go with Precision rather than over XPS? Now, firstly, there's there's actually two major reasons why you would do that in a way. First off, if the Precisions, they do have a slightly faster CPU put into these compared to the XPS models. And also, as for, especially for the graphics there, now the G-forces are in the XPSs and in the Precisions, you're looking at the Quadro range there. Now. Sometimes people go, why do you pay more for the quadra range when it might not be actually faster than GeForce? But that's only because a lot of the professional applications itself usually have a certification to the Quadro and Navita Quadro drivers and stuff like that. So they actually have a better optimization there. And also with the precision, they actually have a precision optimizer there, especially for those applications to make them run even faster. And also there's error correction as well. So, And the mobile workstations are designed to work 24 7 so they work to stay very stable for a very long period of time there so that's why the precisions are more designed for that side of things where you actually have work and you've got to do it for a very long time or even doing very long renders as well too so positions are fantastic for that sort of choice uh, but if you do have don't have the sort of funds there definitely go with the xps's they do fantastic as well but if you do definitely look into the Precision series there. The new Dell Precision 5550 has many changes. And I think Dell has actually made an incredible effort in making this 2020 edition of this beautiful, wonderful laptop that we know and love. Now, I actually like the improvements that they've done to it, and I think they've actually have made the experience of this laptop even further better than before. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it informative and enjoyed it. Give it a like and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right hand screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.